everybody from uh, City Walk, which is where I'm at right now. Heading into Islands of Adventure for some reason. Not really sure what my goal is for today, but I'm just gonna have a good day. Jurassic Park shirt that I found at Ross Dress for Less. So that's basically my goal and I've, I've succeeded. So everything else I do today is just, just an added bonus. And from the looks of it, it looks like it is the popular choice for today. Um, so maybe it's just gonna be a walk around today, which is okay with me. I'll see whatever I can squeeze into. Maybe I can squeeze into Spider-Man. I wanna squeeze into Spider-Man. Also, in case you're not privy to uh, City Walk. Oh, it's actually got a plaque, Never mind. <laughs> it's not really a secret. The Hemisphere Dancer. This is Jamie Buffett's real plane. Also, I'm sure there are, I, I'm like 90% sure there's stories that there are bullet holes that have been patched over in this aeroplane. And I think there are. I'm not gonna look for them. But there's Margaritaville. All right, welcome everybody. Let the adventure begin. Or the adventure begins, I don't know. The adventure begins. We're going into Islands of Adventure. Also, there's a sign over here that people are just standing right in front of. Let's see, it says Hagrid's is gonna be closing early today. Um, so, huh. So therein I, lies my predicament for the day. Do I explore Islands of Adventure just for funsies, or do I go wait in line for Hagrid's, because I haven't been on it yet. Do I go wait in line two and a half hours for Hagrid's because it's gonna be closing early anyways? Kitty! Oh, there's a kitty right there! You sees him? Sees the kitties messing with the birds? I think I might just walk around Islands of Adventure today. I don't think I'm gonna go hop in line for Hagrid's and wait two and a half hours just because I'll probably leave right after that anyways. I'd rather enjoy the rest of the park today. Hagrid's can wait. It's a new ride. It'll be there forever. Also, it just came to my realization we have never been here before as all this whole thing. So I just figured why not just show everybody around uh, this is one of my favorite parks on the planet. I've been coming here since I was young. Very fun park. Haven't been a big boy enough to go on big boy roller coasters. But let's head down here. I'm going to give you a good looking overview of all of the good stuff here at Islands of Adventure. <laughs> kind of nervous. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. Oh, my. Uh, I don't know. That's a scary one. But with the Hulk behind me, I'll tell you a little bit about Islands of Adventure. This is the second park that came after Universal Studios over there. They built City Walk, built this all at the same time. Kind of an interesting little, uh, little history if you want to go look into it a little bit further. Research some good YouTube videos, I'll put some in the description below. Uh, but it's very interesting how this park came to be. Check that stuff out if you like that kind of stuff, like me. Just look at my cool shirt. My shirt's so cool. Wow, there's that big green mean machine right there. I don't know if she's about to take off yet, but, she, oh, there she goes. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh God, God. Oh goodness. Oh God, oh boy. Oh, oh big loopy. Big loopy. And then they dive into heck. Behind me, what I just walked through, behind me over there, all that good stuff, like the whole entranceway. It's called the Port of Entry. And now we're here in the lagoon, the main lagoon, and you can basically see every island from here. You can see Seuss Landing. Here, I'll show you, I'll give you a better view. You're gonna go right into Seuss Landing, which is that fun looking village over there. Oh, uh, it's so colorful, so much fun. Rumors say all of these palm trees that are all bent and weird. They came from hurricanes. They're bent because of hurricanes. That's just a rumor. Don't know if it's true. Ducks! Quack! 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 Anywho, that is Seuss Landing, their own little landing. Uh, what you can see, starting with that trident, actually you can see some of the, the building back there. I'll zoom in on it. That's for Poseidon's Fury. That part of the land is this. That is uh, the Lost Continent. One of the only like non- intellectual property filled lands left in Islands of Adventure. There's no intellectual property here. It's like themed to Atlantis. It used to have a whole Merlin's Wood area that was themed to like an old ancient European forest. It was amazing. Uh, but now they have switched that out for, honestly, now they've switched that out for um, Harry Potter. Hogwarts. 
And then if we turn a little bit further, just perfect theming, because you see Jurassic Park right in the foreground, in the background, Hogwarts, just like it was in the Harry Potter novels. Their own island, hopefully, this won't be Jurassic Park for much longer. I'm hoping it's gonna be Jurassic World soon. It definitely needs an update. All right, for the next part, we got a mosey over here, kind of closer to these loudspeakers. Here comes the Hulk one more time. Oh, let me show, oh, never mind, it did it. There's a splash right there. It makes it look like the Hulk splash, but he doesn't. Wee. Okay, what was I saying? It's so loud right here, this is terrible. Uh, but there is Toon Lagoon where you can see the Popeye ride. You see SS Olive Oil right there. Uh, a little bit further to the left here, this is the whole, uh, it's like Superhero Island. Not one specific, I think it's Marvel Superhero Island. So also a very awesome themed area. It's got the Spider-Man ride, my favorite ride in all of Universal. Why don't I go over there? Your boy's going on Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Ooh, you know what I just watched the other day? I watched Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. First time ever seeing that. Probably one of my favorite Spider-Man movies I've ever seen. I watched it a second time and loved it even more. Ah, see, I was right. It is Marvel Superhero Island. Look at how awesome the theming is in this whole area. I just love the design of all the buildings. Find. Uh, um, Murdoch's attorney at law area, you know, from Daredevil. Murdoch and Fudge? What is it? No, Nelson Murdoch. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's not Murdoch and Fudge, by the way. I think, uh, I think Stark Industries is around here somewhere, too. Oh, I love this area. I'm gonna head in. As you can see up there, there's my spider boy. I'm gonna go, guy. I won't go on Spider-Man. Uh, all right, so Spider-Man is not open yet. I can't go on Spider-Man. People are lining up and it says it's gonna be a 70 minute wait already for Spider-Man. Single Rider wasn't open, nothing else is open. Let's press on it further into the islands. A little break over by this. I don't know what this is. I've never seen this used. It's never been used. I mean, I've seen it used, but for like dance competitions, which I was not invited to for some reason, even though I'm a fantastic dancer. But yeah, other than dance competitions, never seen this thing in use. But as for me, I'm just taking a break. I'm already tired, it is hot. Uh, one thing, quick, let me just get this out of the way. No one has complimented my shirt. Very upset by that. Haven't had anybody be like, cool shirt. Nothing, but look at that. It's a cool shirt. But before my day presses on any further, it's time for us to go through Toon Lagoon, which is basically my home because I am a cartoon and I should have been a cartoon. In fact, you know what? I want to be a cartoon when I grow up. Put that on my bucket list. Can anybody tell me any of these characters? Like, who's, who's that? And also, who's that? I know that's Kathy because her name is right underneath her. But like, what's going on here? And why is that son so mad? And what happened to his eye? Or is that the moon? I'm not sure, and there's a mouse! Again, this one I know because the name is right here, right underneath Flash Gordon himself. You know what I mean? This is also a good place to come when you want to cool down because there's literally water falling everywhere. There's usually water falling in here, but there is none. That's Hagar, I know him, I know Hagar. But I don't know what this story is. What's happening? There's water right there I almost just walked right into. Uh, but they have two water rides. They have a log flume, which we'll take a look at in a second, and then they have like a big barge boat ride, the one where the super soakers, which I am not a fan of because I do not want to get wet. Uh, but where am I heading? I have no idea. What is happening? Jurassic Park is this way? Where am I going? Ooh, we can look at the bilge rat. I haven't seen that yet. I want to go look. These rides are like the big raft rides. It looks like a lot of fun. Ooh, boy. Never mind. I do not like to get wet. Oh. They just got fucking, they got sprayed. Good stuff. And there you go. Down into the great unknown. Bye. You're gonna get wet on this ride. Uh, if you ride in the right area on the log flume or on Jurassic Park, not so wet. But this ride, you're guaranteed to be a, a sponge. It is Dudley do right Ripsaw Falls. We'll be able to see people. Oh, they're coming flying out. I think this was like the tallest log flume ride in Florida for a while maybe? I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Also don't look it up because I am correct. Uh, but here, oh, there they go. And you do, you'll get pretty wet on this ride, but 
not as wet as like bilge rat barges you can get in the right seat see look these people aren't super soaked i mean they're pretty wet never mind and here comes another group Flash. oh that's a lot of screaming but i guess the build up and uh like the the climb to the top it, it, it's a it's a long ride from what i've heard i haven't been on it because like i said i don't like to get wet um, but there are days where I do want to get wet. Like today, I would love to get wet. I just have a bunch of electronic equipment on me, and I don't want to take it off of me. Uh, so now hopefully the music will stop being as wacky as it was and turn somewhat normal uh, a John Williams score. We will be entering, I think, I don't know what this is now. This used to be Jurassic Park where you would just walk through the gate, but now we have Kong here. And Kong is not in Jurassic Park? From what I remember, it's been a while since I've seen the movies, but I don't think King Kong is in those movies. But you know what? There he is right there. Autonomous vehicle that looks like it's being driven, but it's a robot man. And look, watch the uh, ominous doors open. This is literally the coolest part of the ride. Everything after this is just not that great. Everything after this is basically Fast and the Furious. But people love this ride. I don't understand it. But if you can tell by the change of theming, we're very much into Jurassic Park now. Just suddenly, just thrust into Jurassic Park, Thunder Falls Terrace. And now I wanna go walk over and watch the Jurassic Park ride splash. Here it comes. Moist, oh, water. Now I would love for this to be like the Jurassic World, Jurassic World ride that just opened in Hollywood. Which I think they could very easily just transform ours into the same thing. I mean, I don't see why not. I mean, I'm, I'm no... Oh, here it comes. I'm no theme park Imagineer, but it, it can't be that hard. Uh, as for the wetness on that ride, it can go either way. You can get soaked, you can get super soaked, or you can get not wet at all. It, it depends on where you're sitting. If you're in the middle, you're not going to get that wet. This is my first time coming here since a lot of this construction has started. All of the trees are just gone. It's so, so bare. Oh, here's the River Adventure. Right across from the River Adventure, actually. Uh, this is supposed to be new ride construction, but it could also just be like them shifting it to this new Jurassic World style, because this kind of looks like the Jurassic World logo. So many trees gone. The tra <laughs> There's the T-Rex. It's so, so, so bare. All of this used to just be tree. It's like you couldn't see anything. You could see, you couldn't even see the lagoon. Like I said, I watch a bunch of construction updates. I know they exist. I know there's a ton of them out there on, on the YouTube. Uh, so this isn't what this is, but I'm just kind of amazed by what I'm seeing. And it's exciting. It's exciting. I like, I like the future, looking forward to the future. Oh my goodness. Those of you who have been coming here for a while know that like, <laughs> this looks, this looks crazy. It's crazy to see it in person. I mean, I, I watch construction updates on YouTube and whatnot, but all of this is just gone. I feel like the T-Rex used to be in this general area. Ducked into the Jurassic Park gift shop just to see if there's any shirt in here that's cooler than the one I'm currently wearing. I don't see any. I do kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Inaugural park guest section B actually very cool i would definitely wear that not cooler than the shirt i'm currently wearing but still pretty cool see i'm, I'm already wearing this shirt I'm, this is already what i came in with come on i bought it at ross dress for less it's over by the jurassic park uh discovery center is right there but behind it is this brand spanking new bridge it's kind of a bypass for the whole harry potter area right now you know just in case you don't want to deal with uh, that nonsense. You <laughs> can't see anything. No construction over there. What construction? There's walls here. This has always been here. This is how it always has been. And this is also kind of surreal just because you have Hogsmeade back there. See, you got the 
Hogsmeade back there. I'm walking right past Hogsmeade, walking straight into the Lost Continent, skipping Hogsmeade. Actually, I'm gonna probably just loop back around and uh, go see what Hogwarts, or <laughs> Hogwarts. I'm gonna call it Hogwarts from now on. <laughs> it's like mixing up Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, and Hagrid. Hogwarts. Here is the Hogwarts castle, obviously. This is the, uh, the the scariest Harry Potter ride I think I've ever been on, and possibly the scariest ride I think I've ever been on in my entire life. I don't know why, I just think it's terrifying and horrifying. But here we go, we're going into Hogswort Meads, Hogsmort, Hogmeads. It's busy in here today, here's the entrance. Uh, Jurassic Park's just over that bridge. Yeah, I went and checked on the wait time for Hagrid's. It's currently at 210 minutes. Uh, I should wait for it, but I'm just not gonna because I really don't want to. Hogsmead, which is right outside of Hogswort. Here's the hog's head. Wow, there's a lot of hog references in Harry Potter that I, I didn't... Is there some sort of pattern that we're not seeing? Either way, like why is it called Hogswort? Why is it called Hogmeads? Why is it called Hog's Head? What's with the hogs? Did I just uncover some sort of conspiracy? <gasps> Hagrid's. Hogrid's. <laughs> it should be called Hogrid's. Now, right here, that's where I could take the train back over to Universal Studios. I'm just here for Islands of Adventure today. Don't feel like going over there because it's a longer walk. <laughs> and I'm tired already. Uh, Lost Con- <gasps> Boots and Boots. Boots, 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 boots. I wonder if, uh, the she -Ra. I wonder if she was out today. If she is, she'd be over here. I'm gonna look. Old Atlantis area. Very cool. And actually, I might have to be honest, this is probably one of the best themed areas in any park, in any theme park on the planet. Very immersive, very cool, very well designed. Doesn't get the love it should have. Didn't get the uh, expansion it should have, but they took Julian Dragons and put it with Harry Potter, and now Harry Potter has taken over. Just look. Look at how awesome the theming is here. This is just a restaurant. This is just Mythos. You know, voted the best theme park restaurant by Theme Park Insider 20 years in a row. <laughs> and behind me, behind this trident, is the Poseidon Adventure, which is like a uh, special effects show. It's like a walk-around special effects show. It is the coolest thing on the entire planet. I will 100% always back up the Poseidon Adventure, Poseidon's Fury, I think it's called, uh, because it's awesome, because it's cool, it's a lot of fun. she -Ra! Oh my goodness! She's awesome! See, there's that trolley ride I was showing you before I got distracted by that dance party. Also, I'm sweating so bad, I currently feel it dripping into my lips. <laughs> Also, that's the Carousel. Do you get it? Because his name was Dr. Seuss, and it's a carousel, so if you mix the two up, it's Carousel. Fuddle. Fuddle. Miss Fuddle the Duddle. That's loud. Uh, and right when I was turning my camera on, it stopped. <laughs> but it's, it's a bit maddening with a bunch of bells and whistles going all the time. Cat in the Hat is a five minute wait. This ride is kind of a favorite of mine, but I like to go on it with people that I know. I like to go on it with friends. It's more fun when you go on it with somebody. It's, it's less fun by yourself. And now we end where we began, over by this big boy right here, the Hulk. The scariest ride on the planet. One of the scariest rides on the planet. I also won't, wa I also won't wide whip wide walk it. I will ride Rock and Roller Coaster. Rock and Universe? Rock the Universe? Rock and Roller Coaster. And with the Hulk in the background and my arm literally cooking off right now, I might have to call it quits here. I'm very warm. No one has complimented my shirt today. And I'm not gonna call that a failure though. I'm gonna call that a success. It's such a cool shirt, people can't even approach me about it. And that's okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. I'll get you next time, Universal. And next time we will explore more of the Islands of Adventure. Next time I come here, I'll explore more of the Islands of Adventure. We'll go on rides, we can check out Poseidon's Fury. I'll actually go on Spider-Man and it won't be a long wait. This music's very loud. It doesn't seem to end. I'm counting for nothing. We're at number seven now. Hello to number eight. With all of that being said, it's time for me to head on out of this park. It's time for me to finish this video. 
not for me to go scream on the Hulk. Not really. Too afraid. Also, I want to get contacts first because I'm afraid my glasses are going to fall off. Uh, but I'm going to head back through the port of entry, back to my car, and back home. Because I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I'm a little cranky. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!